What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today we'll be doing a custom fourth brake light. Some of you may call it the third, but I guess it's the fourth according to Google and I guess other people out there. But today we're gonna do a custom fourth brake light. I'll show you what I'm talking about. It's a pretty inexpensive mod. You have to do a little bit of customization, but very achievable at a low cost. I'm gonna link all the parts down below also. Let's get into this video. I just want to say thank you so much for all the positive feedback on the new brand. The new brand is Street Legacy. Street Legacy lives on forever. I'll explain a little more about that in a different video. But as you guys saw at the beginning of the clip, it's pretty cool. I, like, I'm, I'm really, really happy about this brand and I can't, uh, I don't know, man. We're working so hard behind the scenes on this and I hope you guys enjoy it too. We'll have lower banners, decals, merch and everything coming soon. Uh, but if you enjoy it, make sure you comment down below and say you enjoy the brand Street Legacy. Give me a thumbs up. But uh, let me show you what we're working with. So I picked this up from Amazon. I've actually used the IGDM toy lighting in the past also. So pretty much they're gonna give you everything you need to make this custom brake light. Let's open it up. It's actually my first time opening it up. We got some instructions, which, you know, are always good. And if this works out well, I guess you guys can do this too. As you guys can see, it's not, this is the older generation, but I don't know if it's focusing in, um, but we're gonna do the same thing for the newer generation here. This is my 22 B or Z that we have. They even give you the drill bit, which is really cool, so that you can fit the light perfectly. I think this is a big pro, because a lot of companies will just give you the light and you gotta figure it out. Big, big pro. And then, let's open this guy up here. And there it is, that's the LED. And looks like we have three wires. I'm assuming one is obviously one's positive, negative, and this probably goes into the either reverse or the turn signal. I'm not too sure. We'll have to get into it afterwards. And then in here, cool. They just give us you know, those little T clips or T brackets, whatever you want to call them, which make it a lot easier to basically, you know, join the two wires together. Everything will be down below in the description for looking at getting it. Alex should be here soon. He's our wiring guy. Doesn't look like we really need that much help. It's only three wires. I know what two of them do. Third one will figure it out. I'm not the best wiring, but if I read this, then talk to you guys on camera, it might be kind of, you know, I may seem smarter, but nah. I'm honest. So if you guys haven't seen the car, this is my 22 B or Z. We are going to be, see that little red part in between there? We're basically going to be putting that light there. I'll just show you guys the car quickly if you guys are new to the channel or whatnot. These are my work T7R two piece. Super hard to get, I was so happy that I actually found them. I got them shipped here uh, from a different province. And then we have the Brembles in the back, Brembles in the front. We have the carbon fender garnish here. And then the Suma carbon performance mirrors. If you guys want to grab this, I do have a discount code for Suma Performance, save yourself 5%. And then, yeah, car's looking, it's dirty, but it's looking probably half decent on camera. So yeah, those are the lower banners that we'll have in stock soon. Just waiting for stock to come. We're getting there, we're getting there. I actually used quite a bit of the stock that I actually had already. Check out those mirrors, they look so, so nice. And then we'll have the small window decals also. And we'll have more in the future too. It's gonna be a lot of limited drops and stuff like that. But Let's get back to the actual install video. The reason you guys are here, a little hard for me to get the camera underneath here, but if you see, we do have one, two, and I think three clips down there that we're gonna get, that we're actually gonna remove to get towards this light. It's my first time taking it out, so I'm trying to, I'm just figuring it out as we go. So we're gonna move those three and then see what happens, see if we have to unclip or anything, but see there's two and I think three right over there. I've removed all three clips from underneath and as you can see, this piece actually is a lot looser now. I have a feeling this just clips in. Oh, yep, I was correct. So that just clips in and then we're probably gonna have two main screws holding the light in. So one and two and then this light will come off. After those two screws are off, we're gonna pull this out. And you're gonna be very careful because, as you see, you still have a, oh, almost dropped it. You still have a plug here. So we're gonna unplug this. Boom, 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 boom. And then we're going to uh, basically customize the light. God damn. So I work in the goddamn Sahara Desert here. Mr. Alex is here, our wiring guru. But uh, it's 
so far everything's pretty easy. We have it out, and as you can see, the reverse bulbs go right here in these two empty spots. So with this whole saw that they give us, what we're gonna do is we're gonna drill into this middle section here, and then what's gonna happen is this light should just slip right in there. And then what we'll do is wire the three main wires here, or the three wires here into the tail lights so that we can get power, ground, and I'm assuming when we go into reverse, the lights up, or we're gonna get some type of flashing. I don't know once we do it. Uh, but right now, there's no bulb, nothing in here. And this is a cheap alternative to doing a third or a fourth brake light, whatever you guys wanna call it. I know some people call it third, some people call it fourth. I couldn't get the LED bulbs in time for the reverse, but I can do that afterwards. Super simply saw how it, three clips, two, two screws or two bolts, whatever they were, and they came out. So super, super easy stuff, excited. I actually wanted to tint this just a little bit, but that didn't come in time either. Unfortunately, there's a lot of delays on a lot of parts, and I do have more parts coming in. Also, some stuff from Sumo Performance, which I'm so hyped for, and I'm working with another company. I can't say too much yet, but we got some stuff coming in. So I'm super hyped that we're getting stuff done on the BRZ, the CRV, and Street Legacy, and I still have some Lopes merch too. Uh, Street Legacy, I know I keep getting off topic, but Street Legacy will be on the lopesgarage.com in a different section if you're wondering about that also. So this is the, the whole saw they give you. I have a feeling it's not gonna be the greatest whole saw, but it may, it's gonna do the job and it's the right size, which is nice. Super small, okay quality, but check it out. So who showed up, our wiring specialist. Yo, yo, yo! <laughs> What'd you show up there with? A little beverage? A little on this, man. On this quite caliento day. If you guys want to check out some fishing content, hook for sure. Alex catches the monsters. Sure. 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 Hook for sure. For sure. Okay, I'll type it up on the screen. Check it out if you like some fishing content. Uh, I'm sometimes involved in it too, so if you want to see my ugly ass. I got my assistant here, so he's going to drill the hole. Don't mess it up. Yo, pressure. Pressure's on. There goes my hole light. You broke it. Hole light is hey. done. Hey. I actually did a pretty good job. What I'm assuming is going to happen now is we're just going to... You put this guy into here and then just kind of tighten her down and hopefully she doesn't pop up or leak. That's my only concern with this is if it kind of pops up or leaks or if there's anything else, any of those sorts. Probably clean it up a little bit before anything. Yeah, pat her down, buddy. Pat her down. So it took some love and persuasion, some lubrication, uh, <laughs> but we got her in finally. That's what she said. <laughs> I don't think you're gonna get any condensation or anything in here. It's a pretty tight seal. Is Did a good job a with that. Commercial? But I'm sweating. Really? Ready? Look, pool. you guys ready to see how hot it is right now? Look at my face. I'm already sweating. All right, now we're trying to figure out how we're gonna route this up. Uh, I believe I'm gonna have to take this out because we're gonna have to run the wires from underneath here to yeah. the tail lights, which are pretty easy to take off as you guys can see. I think it's only literally like one screw here and maybe one underneath here. While Alex takes those three off, I've popped out this cover here. It honestly was really, really easy to do. We've popped this cover out and now exposes the two bolts that hold this down. And I believe this holds it down also. I'll double check, I'm not 100% sure. First time taking off the tail light, uh, but these definitely hold one, two, and then possibly three. And as Alex is taking that up. All right, so mission success, tail light is off. We're gonna remove some of the things in the trunk. It's been a busy week, oh, as you guys can see. It. You don't have to shit. Oh yeah, we can just route it through there. You see the wire hole Very awesome. So, we just need something to feed it. Yeah, we'll figure that out. I have an idea. Uh, but I guess we don't have to take this part off. So don't do this. And you can just take off the left tail light and we can feed it through that way. Cool. This may look a little funny, but that's all we have right now. So we're running one of my fishing poles straight down. And what we're going to do is attach the ends of these wires and basically fish the wires all the way back up so that we can, you know, tap into the tail lights. Uh, <laughs> you can use like a metal hanger and cut it up and that'll work. Anything stiff will work. But uh, this is what I have to use right now. You know, bring a little outdoors and cars together, I guess. But we've taken off the tow hook cover area just so we can basically see a little better and we're trying to fish it. The light is back on. We've mounted it. Now we're trying to fish it towards the area where the end of the fishing pole is right here. 
or the fishing rod. And then we're gonna tape it up and then bring her up. So just giving you guys a bit of an update. So it's a little tricky, a little finicky, but we got it coming up. Now uh, we gotta figure out where we're tapping these guys into. So I don't know if it's gonna be the main wire harness there or is it gonna be the back of the actual like one of these guys we'll figure it out after going through the instructions the only difference here is they're talking about wiring to the back of the tail light we do not have a green to the back of the tail light but we do have blue red and black we're going to try wiring up to the back of the tail light we'll let you guys know it's a little you know at least we know we're going to power and ground no matter what uh, it's just the blue that kind of worries me a little bit but blue to blue i guess i guess we're tapping into that guy yeah yeah i think it's gonna be this main guy right here blue red and thing okay. we'll, we'll go off this guy all right, so we've put the taillight back in, we've wired it up. Mr. Alex over here is gonna tell you what he did. So the red wire from the LED to the pink on the harness, the taillight harness, and then the blue to the red on the taillight harness. And black to black. And black to black. So That's it. we tried a few different ways of doing it because what I wanted is we could, it was very easy to get the light running, but what I wanted is for when we, when we started breaking, for the light actually to flash a little brighter and have that warning signal. So um, let me show you what it looks like. It took us a little bit of figuring out. We had to go through some wire diagrams and try to figure out how to wire this like that, but we got it. This worked out for us and uh, let me know what you guys think down below. Red to red, black to black, that's super simple. Then we have to tap in a few little ways just to figure out how to make this guy flash. So we're gonna turn it on. I'm gonna show you what it looks like and uh, how it looks when it flashes. All right, so we've reassembled everything in the reverse order. Everything went back absolutely perfectly. Let me turn on the car and brake and uh, check it out. All right, so there it is. I think it's a nice little OEM plus mod, pretty inexpensive mod too, and it adds just a little more character to the car, especially at night. What I'll do eventually too is, like I said, I kind of want to tint that, and I might tint the inside of the uh, head or taillights there, and then we'll probably put the bright, super bright reverse LEDs. Uh, but for today, I just want to focus on this, just because I couldn't get the LEDs in on time, but I wanted to do it regardless to show you guys, but super inexpensive, super easy, and it looks good. What do you think, bud? A good little DIY? Pretty inexpensive. Yeah. Honestly, I thought the car should have came with something. Like that. Right, like yeah. instead of like that red reflector. reflector. You would assume so. You would assume, yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share. We're trying to hit 30K. And uh, if you want to grab some Lopes merch, lopesgarage.com. Street Legacy stuff is coming also. Alex, thank you once again. My wiring guru. Peace out. Later. Once you're right. Bye.